I have a Raspberry Pi Model 3B. This is a Revision 1.2 board. I also have a SanDisk Ultra USB drive, which I wanted to boot it from. So you'll notice this has one plugged in, which I've already prepared. And if we go ahead and plug the Raspberry Pi in, and it says no signal. Um, yeah, it just looks like it's dead. So unfortunately, the uh, Raspberry Pi Model 3B um, is set not to boot off a USB drive by default. So in order to do that, we're going to need an SD card. So we're going to flash the SD card, um, and then we'll edit the config file to allow it to boot from USB. Once you've done that, you can unplug the uh, card and you won't need it again. But you can use it for to program other Raspberry Pis. Um, I'm Sam from Sheridan Computers, and I'm going to show you how to get it to boot. Sheridan Computers. IT. Communications. Support. Um, right, in order to do this, we're going to want the uh, Raspberry Pi imager. You can download it from raspberrypi.com forward slash software. Uh, I don't need to download it. It works on uh, Mac OS or Ubuntu. Um, let me just close that for a minute. So I have it here. I'm going to insert my uh, SD card. Let me just close all these windows that are appearing. Uh, choose the OS, and I'm just going to choose Raspberry Pi OS, 32-bit. Uh, choose my storage. And then we're going to go ahead and write the uh, image to the drive. Okay, so uh, it's been written to the uh, SD card. You can now remove the SD card from the reader. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to plug the SD card into the Raspberry Pi as such. Now let's see if we can get it to boot. So we're all connected up. And as you can see from the display behind me, uh, we're going to boot. The display is all initialized and stuff. So, this is the Raspberry Pi, and it's booted up. Um, cancel that for a second. So it's booted, but it's booted off the SD card. So if we now type in uh, v, uh, uh, VC Gen command, so VC Gen CMD, you want OTP dump and grep. 17. So as you can see on the screen here, um, that register reads as 102. Um, 102 and then 000A. Now that one needs to be a three. If it's shown as one, um, it's showing that your USB is disabled. So how do we enable it? One keyboard. We're going to CD boot. And then sudo vi config.txt. Now, if we scroll down to the bottom of this file, uh, the very last line after all, uh, we can add to this file um, program underscore USB underscore boot underscore mode equals one. So once we've changed that config file and reboot, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, we're back up and running. So if we click on the uh, terminal command, and we issue that command again. Uh, VC gen cmd otp dump grep 17. Um, now you can notice from here, this register has changed to 30200A. So that means we can now boot from our USB drive. So if we go ahead and shut this down, a bit confusing looking at two desktops. So 
So, I've removed the SD card from our Pi. And I'm going to plug our USB back in. Let's reapply power to the device. And we should now be able to boot straight off the USB device. It does have a different operating system on it, so we'll be able to see that. And there you go, so the display is initialized. Um, so now this is booting FreeBSD off the USB drive. It's a bit of a pain that you, one keyboard, it's a bit of a pain that you, uh, you need to go through that process in order to get it to boot off the USB drive and it doesn't come that way um, as standard. Because you can take the USB drive out of the Pi and you can put the SD card back in and it'll boot just fine off the SD card. So why it doesn't come as default like that, I'm unsure. Um, if you found this video useful, please uh, hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. If you hit the notifications icon, you'll get notifications of any new videos as they are released. And if you'd like to hire us, head across to our website at sheridan.co.uk and click on that hire us button. I'll see you in the next video.